Hi, I'm Nicole. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what's your product and the history behind your company? Well, I'm an agent for Coco and Breezy, who own an eyewear company, and they started in 2009. They're both twins, and since then, these past couple years, their business has exploded. It's boomed. A lot of celebrities wear their products. They're featured in a lot of different magazines. Um, so, <clears throat> that's basically the essential of how they started. They just wind up wanting to create eyewear, and then they started, and it took off, like, overnight. So, how will your product help my company make money? I think our product will help H&M make money because, essentially, we're targeting the same people. Um, young adults who are interested in fashion and like to be fashionable, and eyewear plays a key part in... Um, those different seasons, spring and summer, so I think that would be a good uh, collaboration between H&M. I also think that um, the collaboration with H&M and Coco and Breezy would be successful as well because um, in the past, your collaborations with Versace and Marzilla was just clothes and, you know, different accessories, but with Coco and Breezy, their primary target would be accessories. So, of course, the eyewear and then maybe charms for a phone, um, different earrings and uh, different accessories that um, a lot of people will provide and it will also be very unique because that's what they're known for having a niche. Essentially, our target market and our customers are young adults, primarily women, although men do wear our eyewear products as well. Um, people who are interested in being fashionable and unique have a different type of style because our eyewear is very rambunctious and bold. So most people who wear our products, you know, when, automatically when you look at them, you can tell they have a sense of style and care about what they look like. So is there anybody that you're currently doing business with today? Uh, right now we have about uh, 25 retailers that sell our eyewear products all around the world. Some of the brands that carry our product are The Cool, Miss Karma Loop, you know Karma Loop is a big online um, association, um, Patricia Fields, The Designer, Oak, Atrarium, and different other retailers around the world that carry our product and our mm -hmm. eyewear. Usually, um, they deal with accessories and apparel as well. So and I actually run um, some of the products with us, just three samples of what they're going for right now, the current trends. You can take a look at them. Those are the all black frames with the gold interior. These are the floral tinted frames, but also the gold um, interior. And these are just all of the floral ones right here. That's a nice product. Thank you. Do you think that they will work in with your um, current collection and season? Um, it's possible. But what exactly are your goals? Um, our goal is to s uh, broaden our target market because, like I said, um, usually celebrities and people of that sort buy our products. And we're really looking to go into the mainstream area where a lot of teenagers and young adults being that there are the main target base and consumers at that point. So that's what we're looking um, to expand to and to broaden our target market. <laughs> Um, our measure is essentially, once again, to gain a broader target market, to make a big profit, and to hopefully um, not just make this one-time collaboration, but maybe actually create a new line of products that we can sell at H&M for eyewear and uh, current accessories. Okay, so I noticed that you said profit. So what exactly are your prices? Our prices range from... Uh, $125 to $275 depending on the different collections in the season because um, if you take a look at our previous ones which I have um, sent you the different collections and you can look at the pictures um, they 
have different um, pieces on it and different raw materials, so that's how they range. Um, and as I said, our current target market are young adults and people who are into their career and have, you know, the money to afford these type of products. So collaborating with H and M, we're looking to do maybe a less expensive brand. That way, it could be. Um, <clears throat> more affordable for teenagers and young adults just entering college or, you know, a, a starting their career. So, what exactly are you thinking? Um, essentially, I wholesale price when we create sunglasses, maybe range from $15 to $20 just to make one. Um, and then our retail price would be ranging from 125 to 275 So that's what we essentially do. But I know H&M um, has a um, smaller, uh, you know, price range. So I'm willing to negotiate that, the prices and how much the raw materials cost to see if we can cut down or something or provide, you know, a less uh, expensive product. Exactly, do you make your sunglasses? Like, what form of technology are you using? China is a country that develops a lot of technology that then gets transferred over to the United States. So they have a lot of technology that makes it um, cheaper for us to make the products. And then also, as far as selling the products, we've been really big um, in social media. We have our own website. We have a blog. We have a Facebook. We have an Instagram. We have a Twitter. Um, and this just lets us interact with our customers more on a personal base. Um, our customers also send us pictures of them wearing our eyewear. Celebrities do as well. That way, you know, they can get the recognition and show their stylish outfits and how they coordinated the eyewear with their apparel. Um, so that's really a big niche for us. We're really having on social media, um, being that we were just a small company and that's how we started and we got, we gained all our growth from there. So we like to maintain that as well. And we, um, aside from that, we also do a lot of different pop-up shops in New York and California because those are our two main um, target market base where we make a lot of money. So we have pop-up shops there and we uh, like the advertisements and promotion through social media and usually the events are very successful. What method do you use as far as pricing your product? Um, we use the markup um, plan, so anywhere from 55 to 70% markup price, um, especially since, you know, it costs us it's a little bit on the expensive side, but that's why we mark our products up because they're getting really good quality and they're getting unique products as well, like different sunglasses and eyewear. There's not many um, eyewear companies that make sunglasses like we do, providing the different colors and different styles, the shapes and the sizes, the details and the lens and all that stuff. So that's what we're really known for. Um, and that's how we, we uh, price our our products depending on how valuable it is and how much it costs as well. Okay, well I have all the info I need and I'm happy to bring Coco and Breezy Eyewear to H&M. That's excellent. I'm looking forward to this collaboration too. I really like the sample products you emailed me and the products you brought in today. And I think both H&M and Coco and Breezy will benefit from this collaboration. And I'm looking forward to making this a successful venture. I'm looking forward to having a successful venture as well. Here's my business card so you can contact me about the next meeting and let's make this happen. We will, so have um, a great day. You too.